Hi Virgo. Virgo. Okay, you've had a card fall out. Okay, the Five of Swords. Walking away from something, leaving it all behind, picking up the pieces, trying to piece something back together are the messages that are associated with the Five of Swords. I feel like for some of you there's a miscommunication or some sort of piece of intelligence or piece of information that might change the way you're working, that might change um, how involved you'd like to be in the business, that might even change the direction um, you're going in uh, creatively or um, in your careers because the Five of Swords can show a change of mind. It can show walking away from something, leaving it all behind, maybe because a better opportunity presents itself, um, Virgo, or maybe for some of you that aren't looking to leave or change your career or your profession, the Five of Swords could indicate a little bit of miscommunication coming in, possibly with an air sign. Now, Virgo, oftentimes you can rival the analytical skills of air signs, so this Swords energy could also be you. Um, I also feel like there's if there's people around you in the workplace or in the business um, that haven't been doing their part, haven't been communicating effectively with stakeholders, with internal staff, external clients or anything like that, I feel like you're going to be placed in a position where you'll have to pick up those pieces. So it's almost like you'll have to, either this person leaves the job quickly or because of their lack of work ethic, I suppose, I feel like you might have to step in there, Virgo, and pick up all the pieces and make sense of it all. And for some of you, it's almost like it's going to be a bit of a mess. Now, Virgo, this is where you could thrive because you are so analytical and you do have such great attention to detail. So for a lot of you, I definitely see you achieving a positive outcome from this. So that's not to say things can't improve because they absolutely can. Okay, the strength card. Nurturing your strengths, nurturing your abilities, people around you noticing your strengths and your abilities here. So this is where talent is. So uncovering your talent here, um, Virgo's coming in. So this is pretty powerful. Some of you have a natural talent that's going to be showing up in the next couple of months. And this could possibly lead you to a new career path. It could lead you to a new division. It's almost like it could lead you down a new road, something you maybe didn't think you could... Um, you would be doing or you would be heading towards too. And I feel with the strength card, it's um, uncovering those talents of yours. And it could also be um, a message that strength is needed in your career. Strength to triumph, strength to lead, strength to be an example, to be a positive role model, strength in leadership, um, innovation, to be proactive rather than reactive. <clears throat> And I don't see you struggling with this with the strength card. I see you doing quite well actually here, Virgo. So this is really positive. The eight is abundance. So that's pretty good that that's coming through for you here. For those that are wanting to work with animals or any humanitarian work or philanthropy or work with people, I feel like there might be a window of opportunity that will make itself known to you sometime during these next couple of months. For those that are wanting to be elevated, I feel like you might leave a workplace and start in another where there's more promise for job development or for growth within the company. So this, it does look quite promising here for you. Could also be a strong Leo that's around some of you or feeling like you're exhibiting the characteristics of the Leo, the quintessential characteristics of a Leo. And that would be, you know, leadership and pride and, um, direction and uh, quite a nurturing quality here as well so for a lot of you you may find that you you see this in your co-workers or your superiors especially if you are dealing with the leo or this might be you virgo this might be you taming your own inner lion or lioness here okay the judgment card for some of you, there's some sort of review that's coming up here with the judgment card. Now, I feel like people are either you're meeting with people or there's superiors or people in the workplace that are meeting to discuss your work ethic here, Virgo. Um, but I think I see praise more than anything else because the judgment card is all about embracing the opinions. This is constructive criticism. This is feedback. This is acknowledgement, praise and value. So I feel this is coming through for some of you. A large contract, something you've been waiting for. It's almost like you've been waiting for this to happen. And now the blessings are falling on you, Virgo, and you're receiving it in the physical form. In terms of book reviews, um, 
if you have a piece of work, you're in a creative field, or maybe you have your own business, Virgo, the judgment card is indicating that you will have positive reviews. People will be embracing your service, your product. Maybe you're in marketing or advertising, but I see something that's being welcomed with open arms here. So for some of you that are recently starting a new job, maybe you've walked away from something and starting a new career or planning to, I feel like you will very much be welcomed in the new industry you're planning to go to or perhaps even the new company you're planning to go to um, or move to if this is the case. For some, it could be in the music industry. There's a trumpet here. Um, there's the... I guess what looks like the medieval English flag, so it could be design, um, anything to do with colours or fabrics or anything of the sort, but I think it can apply to any industry really. Um, and I feel like someone's going to know your work, like say for example if you're in architecture or you're a PA or you're trying to advertise um, doing up your own websites or anything like that, I feel like people are going to be aware. This is awareness here with the judgment card and people have something good to say. So, you know, and sometimes they even say, Virgo, that um, no publicity um, is bad publicity. So because even if it's in a good way or it's in a bad way, it's still publicity. It's still awareness. You know, hopefully it is the good um, and not so much the bad, but I feel with the positive energy here with this beautiful angel and the people that are adoring this, um, the music, I feel like you're embracing um, anything that's coming to you, Virgo. You're quite resilient, especially with this Leo energy you seem to be portraying over these next couple of months. But it's talent. It's also coming out with something that maybe you've been shy with. Maybe you've you've turned your back on something here, Virgo, and you're coming out with it. And and you're maybe you're feeling like people will judge you for your ideas or which direction you want to go career-wise. And you know, if you're being drawn to something, then 110% you should pursue that. Absolutely. Okay, the hanged man. Being held in suspense, waiting for something, waiting for something to turn around, feeling introverted. So what's going on here, Virgo, with the hanged man in career and creative pursuits? Some of you are waiting for something. You're waiting for the review. You're waiting for someone to contact you. You're waiting for someone that's maybe perused some sort of documents you've provided, a project, a work, a resume, a CV, a cover letter. And I feel as though it's a bit of a waiting game and things are turned upside down for some of you. You're awaiting judgment and I feel like you're going to get it, whether it is in the form of a probation, a performance review, um, a sales meeting. Maybe it's something you have to do. Maybe you've been waiting to actually let someone go that's been working for you or under you and it's time to say goodbye because they no longer fit within the brand. They no longer um, share and can contribute to company culture um, and be a brand ambassador, for example, and this is why you're slowly letting them go and maybe it needs to happen. Maybe this person is just either has too much on their plate and they can't commit to, to your business or to your role or to the project. Um, and for some, I feel like you're a little bit fearful to do it. I feel like you'll be judged. You, you're feeling here like you'll be judged for doing something that needs to be done. Um, and, you know, it isn't always the easiest and sometimes we can attach emotion to it. But with the hangman here, I feel for some of you, Something about a consequence here, and I think this is more to do with the Five of Swords, a consequence of something, because the hangman, in the most general sense, was hanged for doing something um, that might have been seen as inappropriate or um, illegal or, you know, anything like that, or anything that wasn't by, you know, conforming. So it, it, it's obviously someone that didn't conform to something. So let's, let's look at conformity here, maybe, that might be a little bit more appropriate for this reading. And I think there's either lack of conformity here from yourself or from someone else that's working very, very closely with you or for you is what I'm seeing here, Virgo. But there's always illumination, you know, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. So you will come out of this, Virgo. Um, it's about innovation and needing creativity and bright ideas. You have them, but I just don't feel you have confidence in them is what I'm seeing, whether it's confidence in yourself, your existing skills, um, your qualifications, your experience. There could be lack of confidence, but I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with what people have to say about your skills and about your ideas and about your business as, as well. So look, I will leave it at that, Virgo. I hope this reading has been insightful. Thank you so much for joining me as always, and hopefully we'll chat soon. Merry Christmas.